happening today. The Hillsborough County School Board is going to meet to work out the district's financial recovery plan. And it's going to address not only overstaffing issues, but what's needed to avoid a state takeover. ABC Action News reporter Lauren Rosella shows the money that could be on the way to help. This can has been kicked down the road, and I, I, you know, we've talked about this before. Hillsborough County School Board members and Superintendent Addison Davis still need to find around $30 million by June 30th to avoid a state takeover of its finances. I know that he went to Tallahassee on Friday to speak with the Department of Education and came back hopeful. In a live stream Monday night, school board member Jessica Vaughn said Superintendent Davis has also asked the state to release some of the money allocated to the district through the second CARES Act. This allows federal dollars for schools for pandemic expenses. In a meeting with reporters Tuesday, Davis said he's still waiting to see where that stands. I haven't received anything from the Department of Education that identifies any type of a relief funding coming to us uh, this week. Uh, you know, fingers crossed. But school board members tell ABC Action News it's likely we'll learn more today. This comes after Davis eliminated more than 900 teaching positions in April. Those teachers are now trying to find other jobs within the district. We have put a lot of organizational controls in place to be able to address our finances. He also sent this email to more than 90 of the district's newest teachers, telling them they likely won't have a job next year. I started to read it and my heart just sunk. Many, like CC Gaddy, teach art, music, or physical education. It's heartbreaking to know that there's a possibility that I won't see my students next year. Under the current plan to curb spending, more cuts are expected next spring as well, regardless of whatever federal dollars the district may receive. If the state does release that CARES Act money, school board member Nadia Combs tells me it's very likely the district will be able to avoid a state takeover. The district has until May 12th to submit its financial recovery plan. In Tampa, Lauren Rosella, ABC Action News.